Here's an interesting observation about nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions that contrasts with what we've previously seen with SN1 and SN2 reactions at tetrahedral carbon. Aryl fluorides react very, very rapidly. In fact, aryl fluorides are more reactive and react at a faster rate than aryl bromides. This may seem odd because you've probably learned previously that fluoride in SN1 and SN2 reactions is a poor leaving group. And that's true. While bromide is a fantastic leaving group and iodide is, is even better. We are kind of seeing the opposite thing going on in nucleophilic aromatic substitutions. What's going on here? The key thing to keep in mind is that in a nucleophilic aromatic substitution, loss of the leaving group is not rate limiting, not rate determining. That's not the slow step. So it's not going to affect the rate, the leaving group ability of the thing that departs with a pair of electrons is not going to affect the rate. As long as the reaction is thermodynamically favorable overall, it will work. And the kinetics are controlled not by leaving group ability, but by the electron poorness of the ring. How electrophilic is the ring will tell us how reactive it is in that first nucleophilic addition step. And if we look at this series of aryl halides, well, the aryl fluoride is the most electron deficient inside the ring, right? Because fluoride is the strongest electron withdrawing group due to its massive electronegativity, right? The aryl chloride is in the middle, and the aryl bromide actually has a ring that is the least electron deficient, or the most electron rich, we would say, although this is an electron poor ring, within this series, because bromide is the weakest, or bromine is the weakest um, leaving group. And this, again, has to do with inductive effects and electronegativity of these groups highlighted in blue. So keep this in mind that aryl fluorides and heteroaryl fluorides are fantastic in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions, and the fluoride salt is a byproduct. And this is because loss of fluoride is not controlling the rate. The loss of fluoride is very, very rapid after the nucleophile has added to that electrophilic carbon. It's the addition of the nucleophile to that electron deficient ring that controls the rate. Nucleophilic aromatic substitution is a reaction of great importance to the pharmaceutical industry because a large number of pharmaceuticals contain aromatic or heteroaromatic rings linked to each other or linked to nucleophilic groups like nitrogen, oxygen. So I wanted to say a few words about the nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions of heteroaryenes and in particular electron poor or electron deficient heteroaryenes like pyridine, diazines, and triazines are going to work best in this reaction because these are the strongest electrophiles. Pyrrole, furan, and other electron rich heterocycles are not going to work very well. So if we think about pyridine here, we still need a good leaving group. Chloride, bromide, even fluoride will work. And we need that leaving group in the appropriate position. So for example, if we look at halopyridines, two and four halopyridines work great in these nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. But three halopyridines in which the leaving group is meta, quote unquote, to the nitrogen in the pyridine ring do not work well. Let's dig into the mechanisms of these reactions to see why this is the case. So here we have a 4-halopyridine reacting with a methoxide nucleophile. And as we've seen previously, the first step here is going to be addition of that nucleophile to the carbon bearing the chloride leaving group. And I'm going to go ahead and push electrons around so that we can land on the nitrogen atom to generate a resonance structure of the Meisenheimer complex, this guy, in which negative charge is located on the nitrogen. This gives us a sense why pyridine is so great in this reaction. We can land negative charge directly on a relatively electronegative nitrogen atom as opposed to carbon when pyridine is used as the electrophile. And as we've seen, to reestablish aromaticity and kick out that chloride leaving group, beta elimination occurs next and here sodium chloride is a byproduct. Two halopyridines like this also work great in this reaction. Methoxide adds to the two position. We can push negative charge to land on nitrogen, generate a resonance form of the Meisenheimer complex with negative charge on the nitrogen atom, and then beta elimination kicks out the leaving group, and we end up with this two methoxypyridine as the product. Now, what about three halopyridines? Why won't this reaction work if the leaving group is in this position, which is the three position, one, two, three, with respect to the pyridine nitrogen? Well, the problem here is that there's actually no way to land negative charge 
on the nitrogen that's in the pyridine ring when the nucleophile adds to the meta position. These curved arrows show negative charge landing right here, and the other possibilities are ortho and para to where the leaving group is located, right? And this nitrogen being meta to where the leaving group is located means we can't land negative charge on that nitrogen. So the Meisenheimer complex is actually quite a bit less stable than the ortho and para, or two and four halopyridine examples above. There's just no way to land a lone pair and land the negative charge on that nitrogen atom. So these three halopyridines react much, much slower in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. This can actually be exploited to useful effect. For example, if we've got a pyridine that has two leaving groups, two chlorides attached to it in, say, ortho and meta positions, the ortho position will react selectively and the meta chlorine will be left alone. So keep in mind these six-membered electron-deficient nitrogen-containing heterocycles like pyridine analogs as great substrates for nucleophilic aromatic substitution when they contain a leaving group at the two or four position with respect to this N2 nitrogen, as we would call it in the language of atoms in heterocyclic and conjugated systems.